Hi everyone, I'll be having my first flight today. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about myself yet, but for now, I can't look like this in the airport. So, much better. Alright, let's go. Right, I'm Marcus, and I'm currently in my first year of geography and aviation, and I'm from Hong Kong. So what's interesting about that is that we only have one international airport, and that's it. We don't have anything about general aviation like Cessnas or Pipers, we only have jets like Airbus and Boeing all around. So aviation to me is just as fascinating as space travel because it's definitely not a common thing for Hong Kongers like me. So being accepted in the University of Waterloo to study aviation and to become a pilot is by far one of the best things that could have happened to me. As you can see, I'm ready to go to the airport. Uh, and by the way, this is the entrance of my dormitory. But since there's no direct public transit to the airport, I call Uber and the driver should be here in a few minutes. Meanwhile, let me explain the purpose of this channel, which is to document my growth and experience during my four years in this university, and of course, to evaluate myself. And I think it would be cool to share it with you guys as well, since uh, I want to be informative and I want to let everyone know what it's like to be not just a student in the University of Waterloo, but also a student pilot in Waterloo Wellington Flight Center. So hopefully having to share my own experience would help you guys out, especially for the ones who's interested in this program. So the driver should be here any minute and enjoy the little montage to the airport. I've arrived and I thought it would be cool to show you guys around. This is the entrance of the flight center and a few steps ahead is the runway. There are actually two intersecting runways on this airport and the one you're looking at right now, which is the longer one, is runway 08 facing this way and 26 facing the other way and there should be a Cessna landing right there. And if you look all the way to the opposite side, that's the terminal of Waterloo International Airport, which is pretty cool I think. Anyways, it's time for me to get in and prepare. As for you guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Give me all you've got if you're prepared. Well, it turns out the plane was low on fuel. A few minutes later.
And that, everyone, was my first flight. What do you guys think? I personally think it was amazing. Like I did some flight exercises and some basic maneuvers, which I think was very awesome. The fact that I'll be doing this continuously for the rest of the years in this university really excites me, especially when there are clear benchmarks, aka milestones or achievements, such as my first solo, which would hopefully be happening at the end of the semester, or some other minor achievements such as my first solo cross country. Where you'd manually navigate yourself to another airport alone, and all the way to the airline transport pilot exam. I know this program is definitely not going to be easy or light. Bear in mind that I also have to finish a whole geo degree, which is essentially a double degree, including the aviation part. But I believe instead of complaining about the stuff that are thrown at me, I will try my best to embrace them and treat them as nice little challenges that I'll be facing. As for this channel, I am not planning to regularly post new videos since I prefer quality over quantity, as I want to make things as informative as possible. So probably every time I reach a new milestone or when there's something interesting, I'll post a new video about it. But we'll see. So stay tuned, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, a like and subscribe to this channel would be greatly appreciated. And now for the sponsor of this video. Just kidding. Bye.